Hi everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today we're starting a new series, my enclosures, tanks and cages, etc. I want to take you through and do a little exploring of each of my enclosures that I have in my fish room, my reptile room, or scattered throughout my house. I can't wait to share one of my favorite tanks and one of my oldest tanks, the 16 gallon widescreen tank. You should check it out. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. So this very odd shaped tank I won in a raffle and it came as a kit. So not only did I get the tank, it came with the lid with the light, which is a pretty decent light, but I do have low light plants in it. Came with a filter. This is a Power 10 filter. <clears throat> this is a Quiet Flow 10 filter. It came with a 50 watt heater, but I put in a 100 watt Eheim. Um, I just like that heater. I also added a sponge filter, which was running in here for about a year and a couple months. And I just took my pump away. So the tank, the I left the sponge in here. So I thought it was a cute little tank, especially for free. And as I won it in a prize, and it's got such strange dimensions. It sits right here on this amazing bookshelf that my daughter made me in high school in Woodshop, by the way. But the dimensions of this tank are 31.25 by 18.25 and it's only 10 inches deep. So it sits quite nicely on a bookshelf and it's 16 gallons. So it's perfect for some of these nano fish that I have in here and my baby plecos. I got these baby plecos a year and a couple months ago at my Bucks County Aquarium Society auction. I got a bag of six and then my friend Tom and I split a bag of six. Um, and we got super red long fin plecos and then we got calico plecos. So after splitting them up and I have added an albino pleco, they are adorable, uh, but I think they're all female. So if any of them are male, I just don't know it yet. There are two flower pots in here and I'm gonna add some more caves. This was a perfect size for a grow out tank, but I think I'm gonna need something just a little bit bigger if I wanna breed the plecos. In here, they have some tank meats. I have my brass tetras in here. Hemigramus road Y. Hemigramus, I'll just call them brass tetras. I have one lone killifish in here, a blue eye. Uh, it's a Norman lamp eye killifish. I also have one neon tetra, and I just got a dozen of these little rasboras. After the aquatic experience, Elizabeth from One Fish, Two Fish, ROC and I went on a road trip to visit Mark De Niro's store. And it's in Lawrenceville, New Jersey, and he's revamping the whole fish room. So if you get a chance to go check it out, I'll put that in the description below too. He's, he's, he's an amazing sweetheart. These rasboros are Triga Nostigma Hengli. Still thinking about adding the Amano shrimp. For the plants that I have, I got some Crypt Duendi. When did I? <laughs> when did I do that? I got some crypts. I got Valisinaria in the back. I got some dwarf sag over here. Vertala indica here. Java moss here. And this nice floating green cloud, I think it's algae, but it stays all clumped together over there. And I, I like it. The fish like it. My snails like it. So it's a keeper. Um, when I got the plecos, I wanted to make sure I put a piece of driftwood in here. And I have one beautiful triangular stone. I'm not sure the kind of stone it is, but it's gray and it's got white marbling through it. As you could tell, I put the GoPro in here. We'll take a little tour of it.
never get to see behind the rock. So that's pretty cool that I get to see behind the rock. And I do see that there are a couple plecos sharing this cave, but I cannot tell if they're just chilling out. Yeah, they're just chilling out. And there's a pleco underneath this wood. So I did put the GoPro in here and I did try to get some B-roll so you could see some close-ups of the fish. But I was excited to bring to you this tank. I wanted this to be the first tank because of its odd shape and the fact that I won it at a meetup and I got fish in here from my Buck County Aquarium Society and uh, I got some other fish from Mark De Niro. So I just think this is a very nice eclectic tank and it's one of my oldest and it's it just runs so well it runs so well I don't have any issues in it but I'm not very particular when it comes to mom and I'm not very particular when it comes to the algae I, I kind of like what it adds to the tank and I know I it enhances the fish's experience so thanks for coming along and checking out my 16 gallon widescreen I don't want to say oddball tank because it's really quite cute and it sits on a shelf just perfect. So thanks for checking out this tank and stay tuned for some more enclosures, tanks, and cages coming to theaters near you. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks for checking out this tank and I will see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey everybody, it's Susie Q. So come along with me. Set off Susie Q.